Time to power up with spiritual strength. Welcome back to Spiritual Strength. I'm Gene Zanetti, your coast-to-coast -coast spiritual coach from Spiritual Strength. Today, we've done this video before. How can we know, how can we be sure what we believe is true? So how do we know what we believe is true? So we need to be able to test our beliefs against a rule. Okay, so a rule is basically a standard that is used to see how objective a thing is. In other words, if I want to know how much I weigh, I can guess that I weigh 185. But the rule is stepping on a scale. The scale will tell me how much I weigh. The same thing with my height. If I'm trying to, tend, if I'm trying to test length or height, I need a tape measure or I need a ruler. And that's going to tell me exactly how tall I am. Right? Well, we need a rule of faith. So how can we test our faith? To, how can we test our beliefs to make sure they're orthodox or right belief? So basically what we have here is we have the rule of faith. This is what we know about our faith. So the primary rule of faith is God, okay? Because God transcends everything. He is our primary rule of faith. Because we don't have direct access to God as such, we have to then go by the secondary rule of faith. And the secondary rule of faith is the sacred tradition and tradition in the all-encompassing sense. Okay, so there's different senses of the word tradition. So the all-encompassing sense of sacred tradition, that's the secondary rule of faith. Now, the secondary rule of faith can be broken down into two categories. The proximate rule of faith, which is the living magisterium. Remember, as Christ lived, he said to, to the apostles, whoever hears you, hears me. Whoever rejects you, rejects me. So the living magisterium are the successors of the apostles, of Peter and the apostles. So we have to follow them. Now, the, the role of the living magisterium, this proximate rule of faith, is to safeguard the remote rule of faith. Okay, so the living magisterium cannot make up things on their own. They could clarify doctrines, but they cannot make things on their own. Their job, the proximate rule of faith, the living magisterium, is to safeguard the teachings of the remote rule of faith. Okay, and the remote rule of faith can be broken into two areas further. The documents and the monuments. Okay, so chief among these, the Bible. So the living magisterium is here to safeguard the Bible, the primary document. Also, papal, papal encyclicals in the past. In other words, once a pope makes an official declaration of our faith in the past, that now becomes part of the rule of faith. A new pope can't change a, a, what a pope has previously officially ruled about our faith. Also, the writings of the saints. Those would be, and not everything that every saint says carries a, carries a weight of infallibility, of course, but it does carry some weight, right? And then there's the monuments. The monuments are include the liturgy, include artwork, include the buildings, the churches. Okay, so a church or an altar or any kind of sacred artwork should never be destroyed unless something more excellent is put in its place. So you never just destroy monuments of the church. You always want to maintain that. So again, the job of the living magisterium is to safeguard the documents and the monuments it's more of a defender, more of a protector. So now the question becomes, what are we supposed to believe if the living magisterium, the proximate rule of faith, seems to contradict the remote rule of faith? What do we do in these situations? Well, in these situations, in this, in this situation which happens before, we could possibly be in that situation right now, we are called to follow the remote rule of faith, not the living magisterium, because... The goal of the living, the, the rule, the, um, the job, <laughs> the office of living magisterium is to safeguard the remote rule of faith. So we can't change the time-honored tradition of the church, right? We can't change the Bible. We can't change Pope's uh, declarations made officially in encyclicals. We can't change church councils. So that decision has already, already been made. We cannot overturn it with a new regime. So it's important to understand that. So remember, the primary rule of faith is God, because we don't have direct access to God as such. The secondary rule of faith is sacred tradition, tradition in the sense of the all-encompassing um, sense of the word, sacred tradition, which is made up of the proximate rule and the remote rule of faith. And these two are always supposed to go hand in hand. The proximate rule and the remote rule are always supposed to go hand in hand. They're never meant to be split. But if there seems like a split between the proximate and the remote rule, we are called to follow the remote rule of faith. As St. Paul says, we have to pass on, I hand on the tradition as it was handed on to me. I hand on the faith as it was handed to me. I'll leave that quote 
on the bottom of this video. Very important to know, make sure our beliefs are orthodox so we're worshiping Christ the way he wants to be worshiped. Okay, it's not our call. We don't worship God on our own terms. Out of justice, God has the right to be worshiped on his terms. So there we have it. Spiritual strength. If you're not spiritually strong, you're weak. Take care.